NBC News in depth tonight, a rare glimpse into a world both horrible and heartbreaking. Cambodia has long been known for its killing fields, where the Khmer Rouge regime murdered more than a million citizens. Today, it has another rather open secret, child prostitution and a market for it. From Australia, Europe, and the U.S., people who flock there to purchase sex from the youngest of the young. Here is some of what NBC's Chris Hansen has uncovered in a Dateline NBC investigation. Walk up to any motorbike taxi driver in the Cambodian capital, Phnom Penh, as we did recently with our hidden cameras, and he'll tell you where to find girls for sale. Very young girls. Young lady, 12. 12? Yes, no problem. Yeah, no problem in Cambodia. He told us to take a short ride to a village on the outskirts of Phnom Penh. Dateline went there recently with investigators from a human rights group posing as sex tourists. Teenage pimps lead us through a maze of shacks into a back room filled with girls not even 12, as young as five. Just some of the thousands of children, experts say, are forced into the Cambodian sex trade. These girls say they're nine and ten and offer to perform oral sex. One girl, how much? No, you don't know. 30 and two girls? That's 60 American dollars. Big money in a country where at least a third of the population lives on less than 45 cents a day. But poverty is no excuse for forcing children into prostitution, says Gary Haugen, who runs a U.S.-based human rights group called the International Justice Mission. This is the kind of brutal ugliness that is sort of hard to open your eyes to, but once you do, I think as a human being, you've got to take responsibility for it. Haugen, a former federal prosecutor, has a staff of lawyers and former detectives who gather evidence of abuses, including sex trafficking. You basically run a sting operation. Sure. The undercover mission we documented led to police raids and a dozen or more suspected pimps arrested. More than three dozen girls were set free from the brothels. Many are now in shelters where social workers are trying to help them rediscover their childhoods lost to Cambodia's sex trade. Chris Hansen, NBC News. It is a rough business and it's not over. Chris Hansen's Dateline investigation is ongoing. There will be more on this story in the coming weeks and months.